Many times when you create a document, you need to sign the document, but you don't want to have to print it out, sign it, and then scan it back in. Here with Enterprise Organizer, I'm actually going to show you how to put your signature on a document. Here I actually have a letter that we had previously printed to PDF from Microsoft Word. I'm going to place my signature on it. Within Enterprise Organizer, you have stamps. You can have your own custom stamps. Here is the stamp palette. I'm going to go ahead and create my own new custom folder and import my signature. I can import it from PDF, PNG file. Here I had already scanned it in earlier. I just have imported my signature in. I can go ahead and close out of that. Now when I want to put my signature in, I just go here and grab my signature and stamp away. Now it's a little large here, so I'm going to have to resize it. So I'm going to grab the hand tool, click on the signature, and resize it. There we go. Just try. Now we need to be able to what is called flatten the signature onto the PDF so it actually becomes an integral part of the PDF. So in order to flatten my signature onto the page, I go up to Comments, Flatten Comments, and it asks me what page range I would like to do. I'm just going to say all of it. It's going to say, are you sure you really want to do this? Because when you flatten comments, cannot edit them. So if I had other comments on there that I had added, like annotation notes, I would not be able to edit them once you flatten the PDF. But that's okay. This is normally what you want to do with the final step before you save your document. I go ahead and I hit OK. And now, as you can see, I cannot click on the signature anymore. I go ahead and hit Save. And I'm going to email this document to someone now. Putting your signature on your PDFs is easy to do with Enterprise Organizer.